Hi friends, in this video we are going to see the comparison of TTL, CMOS and ECL. So TTL stands for transistor logic, CMOS stands for complementary MOSFET and ECL stands for emitter coupled logic. So the first parameter is components used. The components which are used for TTL are transistors and diodes. The components which are used in CMOS are MOSFETs and the components used in ECL are resistors and transistors. The second parameter is fan out. It means the number of input that can be connected to a specific output. The fan out of TTL is moderate. The fan out of CMOS is highest and the fan out of ECL is high. The third parameter is propagation delay. It means the time required for the output voltage to reach the middle between the low and high logic levels. So the propagation delay of TTL is 10 nanoseconds, the propagation delay of CMOS is 70 nanoseconds and the propagation delay of ECL is 2 nanoseconds. The fourth parameter is noise margin. The noise margin of TTL is moderate, the noise margin of CMOS is high and the noise margin of ECL is low. The fifth parameter is circuit complexity. The circuit complexity of TTL is complex. The circuit complexity of CMOS is moderately complex and the circuit complexity of ECL is complex. The sixth parameter is basic gates. The basic gates which are used in TTL is NAND gate. The basic gates which are used in CMOS are NAND or NOR gate. And the basic gates which are used in ECL are OR or NOR gate. Application of TTL, CMOS and ECL. So TTL are used in lab and demonstration equipment. CMOSs are used for portable equipments as they consume less power and ECL are used for high speed switching application. So friends, if you like my video, then do like this video, share with your friends and subscribe to my YouTube channel. So we'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care. This is Shrenik Jain. Peace out.